All right, Mr. Sotko here, and welcome back to another Warcraft 3 replay cast. Today it is a one verse one on No Bad Isles. It is a Warcraft 3 Arena Net replay of the week. And up top we have our red undead player. We made Fox Lubber, and down on the bottom we have our blue undead player, Edo Boy. And we're gonna sped this on up to the ADEX mark, to the two minute point of the game, and everything starts to get good. Nomad Isles. I don't get the chance to cast on this map all that often. So it should be pretty good. It is a Warcraft 3 Arena Net replay of the week. So again, it should be pretty good. And we're gonna speed this down to the one X mark. Death Knight for both players, not particularly surprising. And very early Crypt Fiends for Edo Boy right now. And a quick expand for his opponent. We'll see how that works out for these two players here. And Skeletal Warriors versus Skeletal Warriors. However, Edo Boy right now is in a little bit of trouble here. Gonna lose an Acolyte or two, perhaps, unless he has some good micro and is able to uh, keep all of these alive. Fortunately, he is not teching up right now. Otherwise, that would be uh, not all that good. And would not be able to replace these Acolytes until that upgrade is complete. And one Acolyte may fall here. You're going to lose one of them. Not too bad if that's all that he loses. Now at four-fifths income. And that Skeletal Minion still going strong. And one left. And now our Death Knight going to be running away. That Nerubian Tower slowing him down. And so not too big of a loss there for our blue undead player. But I just like to say that undead is the most susceptible to um, losing your workers in that situation when you are upgrading to the Halls of the Dead and you lose Acolytes, it's very, very bad for Undead. And at least Human and Orc, and of course Night Elf don't really have to worry about that, have ways of defending themselves such as Militia and Burrows. And of course Night Elf is just always in the mine regardless. Ring of Selling plus two for our blue Undead player. And I'm going to finish off that last Knoll Poacher. And level 2 for our Blue Undead player. Just level 1 for our Red Undead player. Gets a Tome of Strength plus 2 there. But did not get his level 2 just yet. And now, got a boy going after the Vile Temptress camp. And go after the Knoll Warden first here. And then the Knoll Overseer camp for Fox Lever. See an item to drop for these two players. The Ring of Selling most likely will get sold, as that is what it's for. Ring of Selling, which is somewhat of a joke, but uh, it's just not a very good item. A Wand of Lightning Shield for our Blue Undead, so I think he could have probably hoped for something better than that, but Wand of Lightning Shield certainly can come in handy from time to time. Our Red Undead player gets a Ring of Selling for himself. And is he going to get that Gargantuan Sea Turtle? No, it doesn't look like it. A player's forces are under attack. And Edo Boy pulling his natural creep camp here, his low creep camp. Going to do the Null Brute and might get level 3 on this. Questionable. And Fox Lever going after the Crab Bohemoth camp. And just barely not level three. Needs four experience. And now Fox Lover needs to bail out of their low health death knight. And I don't think he killed any of those creeps. Both sides using spiders and Fox Lover. Much, much lower than his opponent, and doesn't quite have the experience either. Both of them level 2, but one kill of just about anything will get him level 3. And a nice body block here from our Death Knight. And Kripfiend going down slowly but surely here. And there goes a Death Coil. So that was all in vain, but still took a good chunk of that Kripfiend. Caused a Death Coil to go, to go out there. A little bit less mana on his opponent's death knight now. Fox Lubber does have a potion of healing. 
So he will be able to use that when he's low and 95 health on that Death Knight there. Kills a sheep. For possible skeletal minions. And there they go. Vile Temptress Camp gonna fall down for our red undead player. And not quite. And does kill it. Wand of Illusion on the ground there. Doesn't level up any of his heroes, though. And a Lich is out in the field for both players. So two Death Knights, two Liches. Now a level three Death Knight against the level two and level one. And a Death Knight falls to a Frost Nova. And a well-timed Frost Nova and a Crypt Fiend Focus Fire. And one Crypt Fiend so, so low. Couldn't quite get it down, though. And Death Knight really challenging his low health there. And tried to kill his own Crypt Fiend. I don't think he did. So I think that uh, Lich did get the experience for that. It was close. Lich extremely low on health, 87 health here, and that Crypt Fiend as well. Right now, Fox Lover in a little bit of trouble. Many, many more units for his opponent. But now is an Obsidian Statue to help heal up. An advantage he has over his opponent right now, who is just now starting to create his own Obsidian Statue. Nearly a player complete here. Under attack. Nearly resurrected, rather. And gonna go with the gargantuan sea turtle camp. I'm not sure if that's the greatest idea right now. He is quite low. And we'll use some skeleton warriors, but won't last too long here. Gonna get some free hits on this sea turtle camp as they run back. And there is the first turtle down, and now the gargantuan turtle. And our blue undead player going after his Bohemoth Crab Camp. And Bohemoth Crab is going to fall. Which one will fall first? Ring of Protection plus three. And a Potion of Greater Healing for Fox Lubber. And now two Rings of Protection here stacking up. And a Crypt Lord, something you don't see every day. So very nice to see a Crypt Lord out on the field. And a Ring of Protection plus two and three. A player's forces are under so nine attack. total armor on that Death Knight, so that isn't too bad. And the Green Drake Camp here being challenged by Fox Lover, but uh, might not be the best of an idea, as his ally is right, or his opponent is rather, is right there. Dark Ranger for the third hero for Fox Lover. Two spiders go down simultaneously, and another one to fall soon. Lord stunned the Lich there, didn't do too much. And an Acolyte will fall here. Free experience for the Blue Undead. And Fox Lever still sporting two potions, gives one to the Dark Ranger, holds on to the greater healing for himself. What a greedy Death Knight giving him, giving the Dark Ranger the lower one. A lull in the battle at the moment here. Both players just biding their time. I'm gonna go after that Dark Wizard camp again, but still not a very good idea as it's in between his opponent and himself. So he's bound to run into his opponent while he's creeping this, but looks like he's got a couple uh, seconds here of free time before Edo Boy spots, uh, spots this. And he's gonna see that this is going on here. Green Drake is now webbed and on the ground. Really needs to respond to that and try and steal that but uh, doesn't quite do that. I'll we'll see what these players are really working towards. Nothing quite just yet. We'll see who decides to get Abominations first. One or two to soak up all of that Crypt Fiend damage. If at all, that is. 
And Crypt Fiend taking a lot of damage here, getting focus fired and will fall very quickly. But the Death Knight took a lot of damage for that. Now the Crypt Lord is being focus fired. Crypt Lord taking a lot of damage there, stuns the Lich. And I think he got maybe one spider. And a Death Coil hits the Crypt Lord just in time. And Frostova on the enemy Death Knight there. Another Crypting Falls, and not too much left for Fox Lover here. Just looks like a couple destroyers and his heroes. And another Crypting will fall shortly. The town portal going off now. We'll send all of them home. Now the rest of this camp is ready to be creeped out here by Edo Boy. So it will be a nice prize to get this camp a level 8, a level 6, and a level 3 there left. Come with strength plus 2. And looks like a potion of divinity from that uh, group there. And 25 seconds of oh, invulnerability. I think the last attacked. game I casted, or maybe the second to last game I casted, uh, had a potion of divinity in it. And that's the only one I've seen uh, in a long time. So two potions of divinity in uh, just a few games. And now the bronze drake camp here. Dark wizard falls a red drake egg. And lots of experience to be had in these camps. So many creeps and high level ones. Six falls there. Tome of Strength plus two. Picks it up with the Death Knight. And Illusion Death Knight here. They're going to be searching the other camp. Takes out the other wizard camp here. A plus ring of plus two. Now plus seven armor on that Death Knight. Very interesting. And it would be kind of fun to stack that on the Crypt Lord. I always liked stacking Ring of Protections uh, on my Crypt Lords because they already have such a high level uh, of armor. And it looks like a Ring of Protection plus three picked up by the Death Knight there. So a total of 11 armor on that Death Knight. And there goes the Red Drake from Fox Lubber. Crypting falls regardless of that death coil there. It came a little bit too late. And a nice stun there from the Crippler. It gets all three heroes. Even though the stun does not do particular, uh, particularly high damage. It's actually quite low, but the stun is useful if used correctly. And another Crypting here will fall. And here goes Blue's Crypting. And looks like he will keep that, though. And just barely a destroyer, however, will not be so lucky. And I'd, if the Crypt, Fiend, or Crypt Lord rather had all that, he'd have a total of, um, I think, 13 armor with that plus 7 there. Which would be pretty tremendous, as the Death Knight right now has 11. And that's 39%, so 13 be, I don't know, it'll be like 41% or so. Which would be pretty significant. So two rings of selling, one ring of uh, greater selling. Although the Ring of Protection plus three is not too bad. The plus two, however, is uh, pretty much worthless. Let's right. reduce damage a little bit, but uh, not that great. Now the Crypt Lord has himself a Ring of Selling. The Crypt Lord has plus five armor. So this is pretty much the undead armored army here. And the engagement moves on. Death Knight very, very low. May oh, he uses a scroll of Town Portal just at the right time there, but loses the Dark Ranger just before she is able to make it out of there, and I think he's actually using that um, Potion of Divinity on that Lich. And the Potion of Divinity lasts an inordinate amount of time. 25 seconds is just crazy, but a very, very rare item. Not gonna finish off that giant sea turtle camp. Gargantuan turtle falls, and scroll of the beast for our undead, which I'd imagine would be sold, as there are too many destroyers on the map. And it looks like he's doing that right now. A 
player's forces are also sells attack. his wand of lightning shield i do believe gets himself a potion of lesser invulnerability vile tempters camp falling here and just gonna leave his lich to level up on that and get level four does get level four wand of lightning shield and sells that immediately Many, many creeps uh, on this are under map. Attack. Your two granite golems all the way over here. Hard to get to. But the prize would be pretty tremendous. Lich gets himself a potion of greater healing from the gargantuan sea turtle camp. An illusion moving on across the map. We're going to spy for Edo Boy. Fox Lever moving on. And Overlord Camp. Going to be creeped out here. Overlord falls and gets himself a mana stone out of that group. Which is something very, very nice to have on a Death Knight. Of course, any hero would be nice to have, but uh, on a healing hero, very, very nice. Now he's going to go after the Dark Wizard camp here, and this is one heck of a creep camp. Level 3, a 4, an 8, and a 6, which is just a tremendous amount of experience. Although it's going to be split between three heroes here, so we'll see if any of them level Dark uh, Wizard falls. And it doesn't look like it leveled up any of those heroes. Another creep camp falls. Tome of Intelligence plus 2, and a Red Drake Egg for our blue undead player. Don't think anything... Oh, no, it looks like the Lich had leveled up there. A couple Skelta Warriors moving out across the map, possibly searching for any expansion packs. <laughs> expansion packs expansions i say that uh, i think i've, I've done that uh, mistake before i thought it said expansion pack but uh they definitely are playing the expansion pack that's for sure or doesn't blizzard call them expansion sets because i remember the diablo 2 was diablo 2 expansion set lord of destruction so who knows i always called it expansion pack but whatever Looking for the expansions that you mine gold from. And not necessarily the ones that you install on your computer. And more destroyers in the air. So many destroyers. Poor Edo Boy Fox Lever just chilling at the base. I wonder what he is doing here. Sort of waiting around. I don't see the dark oh the dark ranger is in there it was just sort of hidden in all the riffraff and here we go the battle is on and now fox lover wakes up uh, but there are so many destroyers here this may not be good for fox lover Fox Lumber has a very bad case of the no lumber. And he is making a second graveyard, perhaps trying to power, or no, rather a second crypt. I thought that was a graveyard for a moment there. The second crypt now up for Fox Lumber to be able to produce a little bit faster here. Now that he has that up and Fox Lumber I think he's taking quite a bit of damage on that Lich, but he pumps a potion of invulnerability. I think it's just a lesser invulnerability, so it will not last very long. Lich about to fall here. Does not use his potion of invulnerability. He had one on that Lich, but foregoed the use of that. And teleports on home. So Fox Lever actually came out on top on that one. Which was surprising, as there are so many. I think there's eight. 
destroyers here. And the expansion now, rather the gold mine, is now completely out. And does not have enough money to haunt a gold mine. So he's making a sacrificial pit, which is interesting. I suppose he's just going to sack his acolytes and just use them as shades to see where his opponent's at. But uh, it would be the might be wise to actually just attack. sell that and then haunt a gold mine instead. Renegade Wizard Camp here going to fall. Circlet of Nobility on the ground. And the Lich gets level 5. Dark Ranger here going to pick up that circlet. And a few remaining creep camps left on the map. We have a little one there and one Anole Overseer camp. That looks like that's about it. We have a hawk in here there. And then the major camps on the outside of the map, which are very hard to get to. You pretty much just have to drop and they immediately aggro you. Oh, no, I didn't actually see the Spider Crab Bohemoth camp. Spider Crab Falls, Boots of Speed for the undead. A player's forces are under attack. And now Edo Boy is ready to move out, and he is sacrificing some acolytes here. And going to send him on out, see what his opponent is up to. I wonder if he's going to sacrifice more than just one here. I see a one shade there, and another shade, so he did at least make two. And that shade is looking for his opponent now. And the creature camp falls there. Claws of attack plus six from that camp. And gives that to the Lich, which I think is a good idea. He now has plus 11 with that Orb of Corruption. And look, uh, we still have all those rings of protection, which is somewhat unusual. Normally, those are just immediately sold uh, by players in order to get Boots of Speed or something a little bit more useful. And now we're going to have an expansion here from Fox Leber. So he's going to be the only one with some kind of income. It's only going to be, um, no, it's actually going to be all the Players all the income here. I thought it was going to be four-fifths income. I didn't see that fifth acolyte there hidden behind the way. And now Fox Leber pounding out the gold. And I will be able to catch up here. Only has two ghouls working at any time. So he doesn't have too much lumber. But now that those Acolytes are doing work here, but the Destroyers are here and are ready to destroy that haunted gold mine. And a Shade is killed off. By the... Uh, I think that was actually a Dark Ritual from the Lich there to get more mana. But I'm not sure if using it on the uh, Shade there was a very good idea. I just wanted to use it on your accolades before you do it on your shades. So the expansion attempt for Fox Lubber actually sort of backfired. He didn't actually have that expansion running long enough to really pay for that expansion. So he ended up using more money than he gained. And Edelboy's army consists completely and entirely of destroyers. However, Fox Leopard has uh, almost as, as many destroyers. He has a gargoyle Player's in there too, which will do a lot of damage attack. to those destroyers. And a Crypt Fiend, which doesn't look like it's going to last very long. A Death Coil, though, heals that up. Put those boots of the speed, uh, boots of speed on the lich, which I very much agree with. I always think uh, you should have boots of speed on a lich, just so it can get away a little bit easier, because it's a pretty much a walking target at all times. It's just the way it goes. And a big hit there on the lich takes away 100 health. And now Fox Lever hiding in his base. The only form of defense really is the black citadel. And Edo Boy's gonna search around and see if he can spot an expansion. He is not going to. There is no uh, expansions left on the map. I always like the little things that were just placed randomly on the maps here. Imagine putting a farm or something out on one of these islands. That would be very fun for your opponent to try and take out. 
Although I don't think you could build on these islands. I don't think there's enough room there. Maybe if you took out the trees. But I'm really waiting on somebody to try and get these granite golems. That would be very interesting to see that. Two granite golems and one rock golem would be one hell of a creep battle for sure. And the rewards for that would be amazing. Frost Nova on the Lich and all the destroyers. And a death coil heals him up. And looks like there's only about enough mana for two more death coils. Uh, by the time he uses another death coil and by the time that cooldown is ready for another one, he should have uh, enough mana. So he's probably got about two more in him, maybe three, if the battle continues. But it looks like it is not, so he'll be able to regenerate a little bit more. He does have that mana stone, so he's regenerating pretty quickly here. And this is sort of the difference here. 149, 50, 1, 2, 3, and then his opponent. Oh, that is full, though. And the Lich is an intelligence hero, so that really doesn't count either. So I can't really find out the difference all that well. But that's okay. A potion of lesser invulnerability is bought by Fox Lubber. And that is basically about all he's got left. No more money, really. 200 uh, gold for Edo Boy. Selling his Altar of Darkness, a bold move. Battle begins once again, and a battle of the destroyers back and forth. But it does look like Edo Boy has way more destroyers. The only problem is Fox Leopard has three gargoyles, which would just love to get in melee range 63 to 90 damage per hit, which is a pretty tremendous amount of damage. It's a matter of getting in there and getting that done. And both players are just sort of flying around the map from time to time. And I suppose they're just looking for other players' expansions. But uh, not really going to find it. There are no expansions on the map right now. And so it's almost like they're just sort of taking a break for a moment. And don't really want to fully engage each other. Because they know this is it. If they lose the next battle. The next major battle, rather. They will definitely lose this game. They just don't have enough resources to get anything going. Edelboy did sell quite a bit there. Uh, quite a bit of his ziggurat. Now he is oversupply. Not going to be too big of a deal, though. And that is all you're going to have anyway. And I'm not sure what he spent his gold on exactly. Both players now must know that there are no expansions on the map and I need to engage each other as there's really nothing left to do on the map. And they can sell some buildings and perhaps buy more potions, but that's uh, really not a lot there. And the shade is going around from mine to mine to see what's going on. I'm going to go in the base of Fox Lubber and going to check the other expansion. No expansion. And looks like he's going to take uh, a, a look at this expansion here. Going to see there's no expansion. And when are these players actually going to fight each other here? I'm going to speed this up to the 2x mark and move it along just a little bit here as both players are just sort of roaming around. Well, actually, Fox Lever just right now, but um, from time to time, both of them do. And the battle should begin soon. The Shade is going to see this army. And Edelboy is asking, where are you? But he knows where he is with that Shade there. And Destroyer gets himself slowed down there by the Arubian Tower, but doesn't really capitalize on that. Could have gotten a lot of damage Please in on that destroyer, down. potentially. And who will win this fight? The Gargoyles on one side, more destroyers on the other. And here we go, going to come down to who can keep their heroes alive and uh, who's got the more damage output. I think the Gargoyles right now have a quite a bit of damage output. Uh, he did lose one of those Gargoyles. They're, they are sort of made of paper, and they will die very, very easily. But they dish out a lot of damage. Now the Death Knight there takes a whole bunch of damage. He uses a potion of greater healing. Keeps himself alive for now. And the other Death Knight here, very, very low, uses a potion there. Has a scroll of healing. I don't think the other team has a scroll of healing. I actually can't even click 
there's so many. And I think he used a scroll of healing. And is, does Edo Boy, Edo Boy have that? Yes, he does. He uses that scroll of healing. And looks like uh, Fox Lever's Death Knight has fallen. Now Edo Boy's has fallen. And so now it comes down to the remaining heroes. The Lich will die first. The uh, Dark Ranger dies after that. So now it's just a Lich versus um, a Crypt Lord here. Crypt Lord is helpless against all of these destroyers. The destroyers are just beating on him. And now the destroyers are following the Lich. At least the Lich can attack back for, at the very least. Although he is much, much weaker. Only 285 health. Whereas the uh, Crypt Lord here has plenty of armor. Has 10 armor. So he's just sort of, sort of eating all these attacks. The Nerubian Towers are slowly whittling down these destroyers. But I don't know if it's going to be fast enough. And the destroyers for Edo Boy here are trying to chase down that Lich. A player's forces are and he really, attack. truly has nowhere to run. At the very least, Edo Boy has uh, a Nerubian Tower and the Black Citadel. And uses a potion there by the looks of it. Only 82 gold left. No more potions for him. And the Lich scoots away. He's going after the Black Citadel now with those uh, destroyers. Crypt Lord really trying to get away here. And the Lich looks like he's coming down. It looks like he's going to frost over that Crypt Lord down. And these towers here are just not enough to do damage to do much damage to these destroyers. Both of them doing, uh, well, actually only the Black Citadel does piercing damage, the Nubian Tower does melee damage. Yeah, I'll speed this on up just a little bit here. And the Lich is in there, and Crypt Lord trying to get away, and he's gonna get hit by the Lich there, loses the Crypt Lord, so now it's just down to destroyers versus destroyers, but Edelboy has way more destroyers, and Acolyte try to get away there. And the base of Fox Leopard going down much faster. And there isn't too many buildings for either one, so who will win? And there's just not too many destroyers here. The destroyers are too low. Now gonna go after the Lich here. Another destroyer coming in. All the low destroyers now in the base. And he looks like he's focus firing. He actually killed one of the destroyers. And Fox Leopard's base will almost certainly fall faster than Edo Boy. And all he has is the Ellipses here. And what a game indeed. Very, very similar builds, similar hero builds as well, except a Dark Ranger and a Crypt Lord. And that is going to do it for that game. Edo Boy wins barely with a base race of Destroyers and a Lich. It's a very interesting game indeed. I see the way. Uh, see now why that is the replay of the week. Uh, the replay of the weeks on uh, Warcraft 3 Arena Net are always sort of a fun replay. They're always sort of just some wild gameplay. And the top replays are generally made for really high-end gameplay and high APM. So that clarifies that for you. 6-4 and a 4 to 5-4 and 4. Slightly lower levels on Edo Boy there because that Lich made it to level 6. He needed Death and Decay, so he was waiting for his mana uh, of Death and Decay. If he could have Death and Decayed earlier, that whole base would have fallen very, very quickly. Death and Decay, one of the best uh, ultimates in the game, in my opinion, just or at, least, or at least for destroying buildings and units. Uh, I suppose just the same as Earthquake, but um, does damage to units as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this replay, and I will see you guys next time.